This week, we show you everything there is to see at Universal Orlando's newly opened Aventura Hotel. Then we take you to the home of an Orlando local who has gadgets and gizmos aplenty in her huge collection. Plus the latest theme park news and more coming at you from Universal's Aventura Hotel right, right now. now. this week's episode of the show. I'm Elisa. And I'm Quinn. As you can see, there are some gorgeous views behind us mm -hmm. of Volcano Bay. We're obviously here at Aventura Hotel at Universal Orlando, yeah. up in Bar 17 Bistro. Yeah, I, uh, I really love this hotel. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very tall, got a lot of got a great views when you're up on the top like this. And then uh, they got some great food downstairs. Uh, the, the theming's really cool too, mm -hmm. the very sleek, modern feel. <laughs> I like it a lot. I can't wait to stay a night here. I definitely will be booking a room soon just mm -hmm. for the fun of it. I love it. All right, well, we'll be right back after a message from our sponsors. You can check out the new Aventura Hotel yourself with this on site resort offer from Universal Fan Travel. Book a stay and get a package of exclusive theme park benefits. For a free quote with no obligation, visit universalfantravel.com. You can also save $54 on a Universal Orlando two-day park-to-park ticket and get an extra day free through Undercover Tourist. For the best theme park ticket deals, visit undercovertourist.com. Check out the Behind the Themes tours with Give Kids the World. The next one is September 15th at Skyline Attractions in Orlando. Head over to gktw.org to learn more. This news in the queue begins at Universal Islands of Adventure as we say goodbye to an opening day attraction. That's right, the eighth Voyage of Sinbad stunt show will take its final bow on September 15th. There's no word on what will be replacing that show once it closes. It's kind of sad, but mm -hmm. I mean, I'm excited to see what's going to replace it. Of course, we don't know yet, but... Right. Honestly, I haven't seen Sinbad I don't know if I've ever seen Sinbad. Really? Yeah, I know. I feel so well, terrible. Well, you got to get out there before I the 15th. I have to go. It's the last stunt show left at Universal Orlando, but yeah. I definitely Aww. have to go out and see it. I always like hear it when I pass by and mm -hmm. stuff, but I got to get in there and definitely see it one last time. Yeah, it's Aww. it's it's a classic. Mhm. Mm now, plans for the new Four Diamond Hotel in downtown Disney District at Disneyland are on hold now. The hotel was originally announced in October 2017 and was set to open in 2021, but is now on hold after Disney and the city of Anaheim could not agree over development terms. You can read the full story now on our website. This is sad. It looks like a really cool hotel. I hope <laughs> it gets gets pushed through, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I guess there's still some kinks to work mm -hmm. out, but, you know, hopefully we'll hear some more announcements about the opening date soon. Mm -hmm. And they had to close down Earl's Sandwich in their downtown Disney. Now that is a sad story. Mm -hmm. God, I love Earl. <laughs> With the Halloween season already underway at some Orlando theme parks, we have another Halloween Horror Nights house announcement from Universal Orlando. The ninth house to be announced for this year's event is the return of the Horrors of Blumhouse, which will feature the films The First Purge and Happy Death Day. Horrors of Blumhouse was also announced for Universal Studios Hollywood, but it will focus on the films Truth or Dare and Unfriended. The event begins on September 14th, and breaking news, we just got the news about the last house. Yes, the last house at Halloween Horror Nights is going to be Scary Tales Deadly Ever After. Yes, Ooh. sounds really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, during a little live stream they had on Facebook on the Horror Nights page, they announced it. Um, not too long ago, mm -hmm. and they, they they talked about how there's going to be uh, Humpty Dumpty that got like I think they said shot with a crossbow, and then there's <laughs> going to be like Rapunzel's hair came to life, and I think uh, the reason that all the fairy tales are messed up is because the Wicked Witch of the West decided that she, everything's too happy, so she like cursed that's them. so awesome. I have a feeling that's going to be my favorite house. Yeah, it's going to look cool. And yeah. another Blumhouse house for mm -hmm. this year. That's exciting. Although I haven't seen the first Purge. But I have seen the first Purge and Happy Death Day, and I have to say I like them more. Well, I haven't seen Unfriended or well for uh, the Truth other coast, Dare. yeah. Yeah, I, I like them more. I mean, I haven't seen them like I just said, but I think I still like them more than that. You know? Yeah. Just like the. I'm glad we're getting these movies and not those. Right. Well, everything's been announced now, mm -hmm. we think, so that's exciting. We're almost there. It's just right around the corner. Yep, they released the map so you yep. can see see everything where everything's supposed to be in the in the park. I'm so excited. So Yay, excited. Halloween. 
It's a supercharged summer in Orlando, and you can read all about it in our summer 2018 issue. Get ready to join the family aboard Universal Orlando's new ride, Fast and Furious Supercharge. Celebrate your favorite characters this summer during Pixar Fest at the Disneyland Resort. Universal City Walk just got a whole lot sweeter with the opening of Voodoo Donuts. Plus the latest news, rumors, and more packed into every issue. Get your copy and subscribe today at attractorsmagazine.com in print or digital in our app on Nook and Kindle. Can you believe this new hotel? The modern side on how sleek it is is so cool. Yeah, and these views are great. I mean, imagine waking up to this and then starting your day at the parks. <sighs> so cool. Well, let's check in with Banks to see what else this new hotel has to offer. All right, so I'm here at Universal Orlando Resort for the opening of their brand new hotel, the Aventura Hotel. You can see behind me, this is definitely a standout hotel. We're gonna head inside, get a look inside the rooms. I hear there's even a rooftop bar. I can't wait to check that one out. options can they find here at the Aventura Hotel? Well they can find a little bit of everything and this area of the hotel which is uh, which is at the center of our the lobby of our hotel we have a concept called Urban Pantry which is inspired by the great food halls of the world so it's a communal ceiling area where you have really great all natural food that you that is approachable to you and you can approach it as you go uh, we have an Asian section where you can get uh, contemporary uh, Japanese style rolls or you can get dumplings or you can create your own noodle bowl and you can have the noodle bowl in the style of a, of a stir fry or in a broth we have a great American burger bar um, we have a few different burger options we have a great Florida grouper sandwich as well uh, we we have a, a roast kitchen where um, it's almost like a family style or sharing concept where you can get prime rib and, and great. We have eight different roast, uh, open fire roasted vegetables that you can have with your prime rib or with your paella. And then finally we have a great pizza napolitana style station at a food hall where you can have a true authentic Italian pizza. But that's all just down here. And then we have bar 17 in the roof which you guys see in a little bit. Uh, we have a Balban concept side to the menu, which uh, we have eight different fillings. You can have anything from pork belly to braised duck a l'orange to, to lamb saute, like Thai style, to chicken shawarma from the Middle East. And another section of the menu is surrounds like a French and Spanish flavors in small plate, like octopus and, and, uh, and uh, black tiger shrimp and things like that. And an amazing charcuterie board as well. Well, as you can tell, we are here in the pool area of Aventura Hotel. They got some really nice like zero entry pool here with some water fountains, as you just see right there. There is Bar Soul over here. You can grab a drink. There's a splash pad over there for kids. There's even a fireplace over here for those cool nights in winter. This is a great place just to come out and relax. So I'm here inside one of the standard rooms of Aventura and I'm with Stephanie and Stephanie's going to show us something cool 
about Aventura, and that is the, the iPad that's included in each room. So what's this all about? Yep, so the iPad is so convenient for our guests. You basically don't need to get out of bed. There's everything that you need right on the iPad. So say you wanted to turn on and off your lights, all you have to do is press these icons and it turns on and off the lights. You can control your temperature with this easy thermostat oh. right here. You can also turn on and off your television, log on to your Chromecast, log into your Netflix, and everything turns on automatically for the television. Say you get hungry in the middle of the night, you can order in-room dining. So anything from pizza, desserts, wine, liquor, anything, delivered in your room within a couple minutes. You can also have some towels delivered to your room. Say you've run out of clean towels, click on request services, and everything that the hotel provides here, they'll bring it up to your room when you request it right away. And say you don't want to pick up the phone to talk to someone, that's okay. Just click on chat with us and you can type a message to the front office staff and they'll respond to you within a couple minutes. Okay. And then if you want to check out, it's time to leave. All you can um, do right here is review your entire bill, press check out, and it's as easy as that. All right, so welcome to Bar 17 Bistro. They're calling this the centerpiece of Aventura Hotel and I can see why. Up here on the 17th floor, you can grab a bite to eat, grab a drink, but also grab an amazing view of Orlando. You can get basically 360 degrees all around. There's so many cool things to see even at nighttime. It just looks so gorgeous. This is going to be the place to hang out at Aventura. That is going to do it for us here at the new Aventura Hotel Universal Orlando Resort. I really am in love with this hotel. I love the minimalist, modern, contemporary style they've got going on throughout the entire hotel. The rooms, the restaurant, the bars, the views. I mean, look behind me, you can see Volcano Bay. It's gorgeous here. I got to bring my kids to this kids suite. If you want to book a room at Aventura Hotel, you can go to UniversalOrlando.com. MEI has a philosophy to really want to understand their clients, to understand truly what their needs are and what they're looking for. We have a level of service that is top notch and we really want to do everything we can to make sure you have the best vacation possible. MEI and Mouse Fan Travel is your expert source for no fee travel planning. Visit MEI-travel.com for a no obligation quote today. Skip the lines with undercover tourists, crowd calendars, touring plans, and mobile apps. Stop paying full price for your family vacation and visit Undercover Tours today. Have you ever liked something so much that you just wanted to collect every single thing that there is of it? Yeah, maybe. But I don't think I could have a collection that's quite as magical as that of Lynn Privets. Why don't we check hers out? Oh yeah, her house is very, very impressive. And our reporter Jesse went and checked it out for you guys. Take it away. Hi everyone, I'm here with Lynn and she is going to share with us her amazing collection. She is truly a fan collector. So Lynn, are we ready to get started with this tour? I'm ready, how about you? Oh my you? gosh, I can't wait. Okay, great. Well, this is, um, a lot of this was bought by my husband and it's just a whole collection because it's not just Mickey for me, it's the whole Disney Park thing. But this one's uh, particularly special to me. That's when me and my husband went to the Disney parks for the first time together, and that was back in 2004. These caught my eye the second I walked in the door. I'm not going to lie, they're yes. beautiful. This catches a lot of people's attention. Um, it did start with these flat nose ones. I got this one before I even moved here to Florida. I got them as a gift for Christmas from my husband. And then, of course, the collection grew and grew. And then they came out with the more, the, more of the extended noses and more characters, like park characters, like this one's from the 50s Primetime Cafe. This one is from your favorite ride, the Twilight Zone, or the Tower of Terror. And It's a small world. Yeah, it's a small world. Main Street, Main Street Haunted so. Mansion, so. The Haunted Mansion ones are amazing. I know, aren't they cool? So that's the hot, hat box ghost, and then of course, Constance. And am I really looking at a, a Mickey-themed bathroom behind me? You are, it's totally mickey out, so this is probably the only thing that's just Mickey, but, well, it's a little bit of Minnie, but not much. <laughs> I love Star Wars, and I see myself a Chewbacca. 
<laughs> so this is one of our guest rooms, and this is um, stuff my husband collects. He loves cars, but he also loves the Disney cars, and of course he loves, loves, loves the Star Wars. So we had to incorporate everything in with this room. So he, this is kind of like his collection. Does he have a pride piece in here? One that's like, oh, this is this for. Is the one. Oh, well, he his he loves Boba Fett. So anything Boba, Boba Fett. What are these? This is interesting. This is um, something my husband picked up for me. He's always helping feed that, you know, addiction of mine. It's just uh, the coins with the castle and things. This one right here, though, this is my uh, prize. Of course, it's my first name tag. Now, you're not originally from Orlando. No, I'm from a small town in South Mississippi. So and what brought you here? Disney. And Disney and yes. Disney only. I just needed to be close by so we could play. And then uh, I'm feeling some chills over here. Hot. This is the Haunted Mansion chills. little nook. I love the Haunted Mansion, so I knew it had to have a little special place somewhere in the house. And since we had this little nook, of thought this was perfect, so. And I have books on it, so I've read a lot about it, and I like to um, tell people stories about it and why things are there and things like that, so. I like this guy right here. I've not seen too many of him. He's the hat, hat box ghost. And I got him not too long after we moved here. Are y'all ready for the princess room? Am I ready for the princess room? <laughs> I am ready. Now, there is a special story behind this princess room, right? It's someone's room when they come to visit you? It is. It's my granddaughter's. Well, it's our granddaughter's. And uh, her name is Briley. It did start, well, actually, the very first story of it was I needed a workroom because I'm all the time doing projects, painting, making, doing wreaths, you know, the whole nine yards. I realized how much, how many princesses things that I had and I knew that, well, you know, this is probably going to be a princess room. It'll be a place for when Bradley comes. I love princesses, so, I mean, it was just a no-brainer. So, believe it or not, I picked out the paint and didn't notice the name of it. And when I did, it was called Princess Pink, so I knew I'd picked out the right color for it. <laughs> and I love the little small, the, it's a small world collection up here. Oh, I definitely had to have the small world represented I still love the small world. It's a small world, and I, I felt like this was the only place in the house that it really best fit. You know what I mean? I have to say, I picked out my favorite thing in this room. <laughs> I love this aerial piece. Well, that's the dingle hopper holder. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Now tell me a little bit about this, this cabinet you have here. There's a lot of really neat pieces in here. Well, there's idea. a little bit of everything, like different collections like Jim Shore and things like that. But I tried to put every character somewhere in the house. So where are we off to next? Well, let's go to the kitchen. The kitchen uh, sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> and this is one of my favorite things as well, especially in here. I mean, it just shows a lot of characters. It's a lot of color. And like I said, it showcases just Disney, you know what I mean? It's got a little bit of villain, it's got uh, fun characters and attraction characters and, you know, different things. So that's, I really love this. But uh, these are really cool, t these, um, I don't know if, if you notice them in the shop, but these are amazing attractions, posters that you have. They are, they're replicas, but I uh, love them just the same. They're representing all the parks, but, um, well, I should say, the Magic Kingdom in all the parks. So Paris, like this one right here, Phantom Manor. Uh, from, that some from Disneyland, I've got some from Tokyo. So I like that, I like that they're all represented. Now this is, am this should be on like a home and garden magazine. Oh, thank you. It's amazing. Tell us a little bit about the design and where the inspiration came from, because this is this is all your own thing, these and... Yeah, well, not everything is always easy to find in exactly what you want, so I seen these bracelets one day, and I said, okay, that looks like a napkin ring to me. <laughs> so I bought uh, several to, you know, finish my collection with and stuff, and so 
I found these the other day. I love these. These are actually scarves, but in my eye, I seen uh, chair sashes, you know, so. I love it. It helps bring that color, that character, and the story you're trying to tell when you're creating a tablescape. And we have the set over the television with um, Mickey, the pirate Mickey, and then um, Indiana Jones, and then there's Bert, and then Steamboat Willie. Now, you mentioned you shared with us your favorite part of your collection, which is something that gets me emotional, too, is, of course, Cinderella's castle. <laughs> yeah, this is my one of my most favorite things. I love it. I know that still, even as many times as we've gone to the park, that when I round that corner and look down Main Street and see that castle, I mean, it's still get a little bit misty-eyed. I have been to Africa three times and so every time that I would come back I would bring souvenirs back and they're very dear to me and so when we moved into the house we decided that we would incorporate the Disney Animal Kingdom into it because it was most fitting so as you can see down here at the bottom you can actually see some hidden Mickeys and those came from Animal Kingdom. Y'all want to see my 400 hats? Yes, I just want to see 400 hats. I've had someone, you know, I told them, I, well, I had 400, almost 400 hats. I just collected them and kept collecting and kept collecting, and it just was almost like a, you know, almost like a game. Let me see what else, you know, new in the hat line have they got. Well, I've, you know, I've got to get that hat. So before I knew it, it was um, up to 400. And so someone came over one day and said, I want to see the 400 hats, and she thought I was going to have them displayed somewhere, but I'm like, <laughs> I, I don't know where I would put them, but anyway, I've got this big cabinet, and it is totally full of hats. <laughs> I am not going to lie. I do not own a single pair of ears or hat. <laughs> I am a terrible person now that I look at your wonderful collection here. I really got to get on this. Or at least I know where to come to borrow a pair if See, I need. There you go. I've got <laughs> any kind you could possibly imagine. Try them on. <laughs> See, that looks natural on you. Completely, I'm sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. These are the, I think these might be the ones that I am going to have to wear next time I go to the park. These ones. Gonna hang out with, you know, Anna and Elsa and all the rest of the Vikings. Well, thank you so much for sharing your collection with us, letting us into your home. We love Disney super fans. Thank well, great. It's, I'm glad that y'all came. It was my pleasure. I, I love Disney and I love sharing it. I think you need a couple more hats, though. <laughs> Just a couple more. Oh, I have some on my list. Don't worry. <laughs> Send them to me and I'll get them to her, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Have you downloaded our free Attractions Magazine app? It features news articles as well as every issue of our magazine available right in the app. Plus, catch up on all episodes of the show and even view all of our online videos in one place. Download the app for free in the App Store today. An epic journey awaits you. Help your favorite Disney friends follow the clues that will take you on an extraordinary adventure where you might just find the magic begins with you. At Disney on Ice presents Mickey's Search Party. Tickets start at $20. Coming to Amway Center September 7th through 9th. Visit DisneyOnIce.com for details. Brought to you locally by Metro PCS. This week's birthday shout outs go out to Calvin Lester, Jen Boss, Audrey Paget, Lance Hart, Mary Hunt, and our magazine proofreader, Scott Otis. Happy birthday, everyone. And a shout out to the Lazuskis. I hope I'm saying that right. It was good to see you at Not So Scary. I don't know about you, Quinn, but I love getting packages in the mail. And who doesn't love a good surprise? Of course I do. And you can get the best of both worlds with our mystery merch boxes which come filled with all sorts of theme park and attraction memorabilia that we've collected over the years. Pick up your box today at attractionsmagazine.com slash store. And now we want to thank Universal Fan Travel, our preferred travel agent. For a free quote with no obligation, visit or universalfantravel.com. And thanks to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando, California, and other major cities attractions. For more information, visit undercovertourist.com. Give Kids the World Village is an 84-acre nonprofit resort in Central Florida that provides week-long, cost-free vacations to children with life-threatening illnesses and their families. To learn more about how you can help, visit gktw.org.
Well, I really love this hotel. What about you? Yeah, it's great. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. And what's really cool is if you're not staying overnight, you can come mm -hmm. here to visit the Urban Pantry yes. or Bar 17 Bistro up on the top. Spend $25, they'll validate your parking for three hours. Urban Pantry is great. I, we should go there right now. I, I want to get some, some sushi, uh, some pizza, some noodles. <laughs> um, you're making me hungry. Let's go. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you'll tune in again next week. Until then, visit your local attractions, try something new, stay safe, but most of all, have, have fun. fun. and you get an absolutely incredible 360 gig 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 gig